today, uh, our topic is one near and dear to my heart. Uh, we're talking about arts in the mill race. I've got Jen Beachy and Brad Huntsberger here with me today. Thanks for joining me. Of course. Um, so arts in the mill race is Goshen's premier arts uh, festival. And seven years ago, Brad Huntsberger approached me at the Constant Spring. Uh, Brad, do you want to tell the story from your perspective? Sure. We were uh, in pre-development work uh, for the Hawks Arts and Enterprise Center. And uh, one of my goals in that time frame before we started construction and while we were under construction was to garner interest in the building and, and get uh, the building filled up when we completed it. And uh, the idea came to be of uh, doing an arts festival across the mill race and on the project. and. And uh, Adrian, you were awesome. And we got it going on a shoestring that first year and had a lot of fun. Um, gave tours of the building when it was half torn apart. It was a, it was a great success and it's been growing every year since then. Yeah, it, it truly was a grassroots uh, a beginning mm -hmm. um, with a big borrow of steel uh, for, for things like powers and power and tents and, and how we were gonna bring it all together. But, uh, you know, La Casa was, uh, committed to seeing uh, a good amount of artists be exposed to the building. So that really was the initial goal. And it was so fun to, to partner with Brad. So the next year we were like, are we doing this again? And we we're like, sure. And we continued to build up our task force and our planning team uh, who was helping us see the festival happen every year. Um, and Jen joined a few years ago and, and uh, has taken on the role of coordinating our awards. So we're glad to have you as part of the team, Jen. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So I wanted to just start with saying, you know, this year obviously looks way different than it has in years past. And while we're normally located just right off of downtown on along the Mill Race Canal, we're going virtual this year. And that was something we all decided as a committee as we processed through the realities of the world. And we thought, what's the goal of the festival? The goal is to support artists and to give them an opportunity to sell art. So how can we do that? Um, so we're moving the festival online uh, to a big old art store online where people can buy art and support the artists. So I'm excited that this year we are still going to be able to do a couple of our awards. Um, and Jen is helping us coordinate that. Jen, can you tell us a little bit about the awards this year? Of course, yeah, we're cutting it down to two, the things that work best for our online format. We're doing the best in show, and that's going to be facilitated by myself, Thomas Zuber, who is a local painter and educator in the area. He worked with us last year and did a wonderful job. And new to our judging team this year is Mildred Arama. She is a Hawks resident and also a painter, and we're very, very excited to be working with her. So we will be facilitating the best in show, and then we're also going to have our People's Choice Award, which is very popular from previous years. You can vote online on the Arts in the Mill Race event Facebook page, and that voting will take place on August 29th. So another unique thing with our online art store is that it's going to be more than one day. So normally Arts in the Mill Race is, is that Saturday, and that's the only day. But we're going to actually launch the store on August 28th, which is a Friday. And we're going to keep it online and keep it active all the way up through September 6th. So you've got a good amount of time to shop around and make a purchase. Now I will say a lot of them are unique items. And so if you wait, you may come back to the store and it may not be available anymore. Uh, Brad, there's definitely jewelry available. So I think your wife will probably mm. make some purchases. <laughs> sure. Sure. Sounds fair. Yeah. But there's also going to be clay art, lots of amazing clay art, uh, paintings, photography, sculptures. Um, we've got two uh, teen up-and-coming artists this year as part of our lineup um, who have really uh, unique pieces. Uh, we've got several fiber artists. So there really is the whole gambit of types of art. Um, so it's one of those things where not only can you shop, but you can also connect with an artist. A lot of these artists do commission pieces. They'll do a unique piece for you. If you like their style, if you like their format, um, but maybe need a set of plates or maybe want to 
commissioned an original piece of jewelry that's in that same style, most of the artists are going to be so excited to connect with you and to make something just for you. Um, right now, everyone's struggling with the pandemic and with coronavirus, and it is a hard time for everyone, but our artists have lost 95% of the, the normal festivals and events and showings that they normally would do. Um, so it's especially important for a community like ours that loves and supports the arts and culture of this community to step up, to really do your Christmas shopping early. Uh, you know, look for those unique items for the people in your life. Um, and, and we've tried to make the system really easy. One thing I'm especially excited about with this online format, um, right now, shipping is a little tricky and a lot of our um, work that is uh, being displayed is very fragile. There's stained glass or very heavy, um, like a large metal sculpture. Um, and so we didn't want the shipping to be prohibitive from people purchasing. And so we are coordinating a local pickup day. So anyone who buys art from the 28th up through the 6th, uh, you'll have that option to choose the local pickup day, and that's September 12th. So our team will be at uh, IDART Creative Studio, which is on 5th Street, corner of 5th and Madison, and you will be able to pull up, tell your name, we'll go get your art, put it in your vehicle, uh, easy breezy. Um, and we just wanted to make it as easy as possible for everyone, the artists and the buyers, to connect. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to see how that works out. You know, this is the first time, the first try. So inevitably there'll be glitches or things that maybe don't work how we plan, but we're hoping that this community, which I, I find myself in awe and amazed at this community with frequency, but we're hoping that this community will step up and, and really support these artists. I'm just really excited that we're able, we were able to find a way to do it. And honestly, I think it's going to really go very, very, very well. I think it will be a memorable year for a good reason. Yeah. And that is just, it's a great way to do the event. And then we, yeah, when we can get back to in-person, of course we will, but for now, yeah. this is a way we can support each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess I would be remiss if I didn't mention that um, IDART Creative Studio and Ben yeah. Stutzman have put in countless hours building this website and creating this online store. And um, IDAR is a company that believes in art and believes in this community. And so was willing to invest that time and energy to give this opportunity to artists. So they're in very important partners. Well, thank you so much for being with me today. And I will uh, be excited to look forward to passing out art with you both on September 12th. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I'll be there. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us, Adrian.